The year 2050 might seem like a lifetime away, and predicting what the world could look like in 30 years from now is no easy task. A lot can change in a single decade, let alone three. However, we do have a few clues that could be painting us a pretty accurate picture. In today's video, we're looking at what the world will look like in the year 2050. First, what will transportation look like? It's no secret that we are already moving towards all new cars being electric. This isn't a trend that requires a futurist to predict, but did you know that by 2050, more than 50% of the vehicles on the road are predicted to be EVs? And that's not all. Not only will car travel be greener, but it will be smarter too. Self-driving cars are making leaps and bounds in terms of development, and by 2050, we can expect self-driving vehicles to be a part of everyday life. Most trucking will be undertaken by autonomous haulers, working day and night, only stopping to load up their batteries on high-speed chargers. Buses and taxis will also be replaced by autonomous vehicles, all using advanced AI to navigate their way through busy city streets. Even our personal cars could be geared more towards being driven around as opposed to actually driving around as they are currently. Expect to see vehicles with stowaway steering wheels and more leisurely social seating arrangements. All areas of travel could be vastly different by the year 2050. Uber Elevate should be in full swing, allowing people to travel via EV toll in and around cities. Elon Musk's Hyperloop could potentially be in place, which will see passengers travelling at speeds of over 700 miles per hour through giant low-pressure tubes between cities, states and even countries in record time. Travel as a whole will essentially be faster, more efficient and better for the environment if all goes to plan. And if billionaires such as Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have their way, travel into space might be a possibility too. Space tourism seems like a fun idea to most of us. However, there are a number of companies working towards making stints in space a legitimate travel business by 2050. Space tourism will likely be reserved for the ultra-rich for the foreseeable future, but by 2050, a trip into orbit, to the International Space Station, or even to the Moon might be as easy as purchasing a long-haul flight to Australia. SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and a few others are all pushing the envelope to make space tourism a reality. SpaceX is even due to take Japanese billionaire Yusaku Meizawa around the moon as early as 2023, although this is an incredibly optimistic date to say the least. Technology is certainly keeping up with the forward-thinking, ambitious minds of today, but whether or not this is entirely a good thing is yet to be discovered. There's no question that technology is changing the way we work significantly, so what can we expect the job market to look like by 2050? Some have predicted that up to 40% of current job roles could be lost to automation, so it's not just Uber drivers stuck on this sinking ship. Factory operatives and all repetitive jobs that could be done by a robot most likely will before the year 2050. Even white-collar tasks in the fields of accounting, marketing, law, etc. all have the potential to be replaced by AI. This will result in a massive shift in the kinds of jobs that people do, and the transitional stage will be by far the most challenging. In the years leading up to a vastly automated workforce, it will be the survival of the most adaptable. There will be very few jobs for life, and most workers will be forced to learn new skills and delve into new trades regularly as more and more roles are replaced by intelligent robotics. The plus side, however, is that there will be a huge influx of social jobs and work that requires imagination, empathy and real one-to-one -one interaction. Healthcare, teaching and the creatives will all be thriving sectors, as will engineers, mechanics and repairmen. Other positives to this automation process could, in theory, include cheaper goods and services. Automated production lines are cheaper to run and are far more efficient, so despite CEOs being eager to hold on to additional profits, the market may force a drop in price for many things, including cars, electronic goods and even food. Shopping for any said items will be far easier too. Online shopping is already seeing an end to high street stores, and the industry is constantly evolving to make shopping on the internet easier and more enjoyable. A huge development in online commerce could come to all thanks to improvements in drone technology. Amazon is pushing a new initiative known as Prime Air, which is a prospective delivery service that will deliver packages of £5 or less via drone to your doorstep in less than 30 minutes. Prime Air is already being tested and is deep into development, so by 2050, autonomous drone delivery is more than likely to be a standard service. Unless our foreseeable future is littered with deadly viruses and more worldwide pandemics, one thing that is for certain is that the global population will increase significantly. There are currently around 7.8 billion people on this little planet we call Earth, and by 2050, this number is predicted to rise to a staggering 9.7 billion. With cities bursting at the seams, agriculture being pushed to its limit, and government services at maximum capacity, making room for an additional 1.9 billion humans is not going to come easy. The extra mouths to feed, bodies to clothe and people to house will certainly see some big changes in these industries. 
More people essentially means that the planet will need more of everything, which will most likely fuel the big raging fire we like to call climate change. Global warming is a legitimate threat, and it's only going to be more noticeable by the year 2050 if we do nothing about it, that is. Getting the planet carbon neutral is a long shot for sure, but it is possible. As a result, by 2050, the majority, around 86%, of the planet's energy will most likely be derived from renewable sources such as solar and wind. With various breakthroughs in renewable energy, we may even see the burning of fossil fuels for electricity being voided entirely. For example, ocean thermal energy, which at the moment is mostly an untapped resource, is predicted to become a big player in the world's energy production in the next 30 years. Being one of the few constant energy sources available day and night, year round, ocean thermal energy has the potential to outcompete fossil fuel based generation and renewables that require storage and grid balancing. Green energy will certainly help to bring the planet's carbon footprint down to a minimum and will also further encourage the entire transport sector to go green as well. There is definitely a lot to look forward to between today and 2050, and potentially a lot to be worried about if things don't go to plan. Advancements in technology are inevitable and welcome. However, we can only hope that these advancements will push us away from rising sea levels, animal extinction and record-breaking summers and towards a better, more prosperous future.